Fox News alert. We have just learned Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg underwent three weeks of cancer treatment. Brett Baer is in Washington. He takes over the coverage from here. Hi, Brett. Hey, Julie. Uh, yes, we're getting word from the court about this uh, malignant tumor being removed uh, from the pancreas of Justice uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, she has had uh, before issues with uh, cancer, and she's had radiation therapy before. Uh, this is radiation therapy at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering's Cancer Center in New York City. And it began, we're told, on August 5th, was administered as outpatient basis uh, to treat her tumor on her pancreas. Uh, she said to be recovering well, uh, and she was last seen in court in June. Since then, she's had some public appearances in which she did an interview with Nina Totenberg of NPR. Uh, she's been out and about and seen, uh, but this is something that obviously is a major concern for her health. Uh, she obviously is uh, one of the oldest members of the U.S. Supreme Court and someone who in the past has had health issues. She had a fall in which uh, she was recovering from uh, months ago. This uh, malignant tumor has been uh, removed, and the court says uh, she has been recovering and is expected to come back. Shannon Bream is the anchor of Fox News at night. She joins us now on the phone. She's also covered the court for us for years. Uh, Shannon, what about this news and what you know of it? Well, you know, it's uh, interesting. The court will often tell us things after they have been treated and handled. That's often the case uh, to preserve privacy and concerns and worries. Um, and as you talk through the last few minutes, or the last few months, the last year or so, really, there have been some significant health issues for Justice uh, Ginsburg. She has bounced back from all kinds of things. Really, for a lot of people, would be extremely difficult. And um, so to be able to see that she's progressed through another challenge uh, is something that is, um, you know, a a another uh, moment of survival for her and showing just how tough she is. We talk about the workouts that she has. Um, you know, the push-ups that she does, the trainer that she works out with, and um, she is somebody who really likes to stay fit. I've seen her at the court, obviously, several times in the um, spring and leading up to the recess for the summer, and people always ask me, how is she? How, you know, how is she bouncing back from these things? And I say this spring when I saw her after she had the treatment for the lung tumor, she seemed in the strongest voice and the healthiest place that she had been. Um, she is, of course, well into her 80s as the oldest member of the court, so She's going to have challenges like anybody, any of us, as we get into our older age. But she continues to be strong. She shows up. Uh, and last I saw her, um, she seemed very, um, very strong in voice and yeah. body uh, there on the court. You know, I mentioned that interview uh, with NPR three weeks ago. It was three weeks ago. Nina Totenberg, who's interviewed her many times, uh, and I saw pieces of that, and you're right. She did seem fiery, as she always is, uh, in her responses, and said at the time that she was healthy. But we are learning now uh, that this treatment had been going on uh, as an outpatient treatment to take care of this tumor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that she has wanted to make... You know, she's had appearances, public events in the months after uh, the fall that, oh, of course, injured her ribs and then led doctors to discover this other issue with her lungs. Um, and she's made a point, I think, of being out there. She cares on a very hectic schedule outside of the court. She's involved in a number of things, uh, of course, as all the justices are. And so she's been out there. She's done interviews. Um, she recently, when asked about the two newest justices, Gorsuch and Kavanaugh, had very kind things to say about them. Um, and spoke highly of them. And so, you know, she's still very much involved in everything the court is doing. Even as she's been going through treatment, they do have things that happen over the summer when they're not formally sitting in their term. There have been emergency petitions and all kinds of other things they've been handling. And she's been a part of all of that. We've never had any indication from the court that she wasn't voting on those matters or weighing in in any way. So she has been um, making sure that she's out and about publicly and speaking out and saying, as far as we can tell, 100 percent plugged into the work of the court, despite undergoing this treatment uh, that was very quietly done over the last few weeks. You know, people may have seen that uh, documentary, RBG, which was really fascinating about her life uh, and how she ad approaches her job uh, every day. There is no zero indication that she would step down voluntarily, uh, retire, is there? No, not at all. I think that she very much thinks this is her life's work. It's, it is a mission. It's something she's been completely dedicated to. 
And you may remember a couple of years ago during the 2016 election uh, that there were a number of folks on the left. There were some liberal law professor, professors and others who were publicly saying, hey, there is a chance that Hillary Clinton doesn't win this election. And so we want you to go ahead and step down, make sure that that seat can be filled. You know, there were all kinds of pressures on her. And if anything, that made her, I think, more determined to stay exactly where she was, to maintain the position that she's always been in. And, um, you know, she proved again and again that she is not going anywhere. She immediately yeah. backed down any rumors about retirement. And I think that um, she very much, much wants to signal you know, this is her place. This is she feels a very strong call to be right where she is. You know, yeah. not but it's been a few years ago. But when her husband passed away, I was in court the next day for oral arguments. And I was actually surprised to see her there on the bench. Um, and, you know, the kind of the sentiment was he was my partner. He knew that I would he would want me to be here, that I've got to be strong, even despite personal loss. It was incredible right. to us that yeah, she was there. But that's the level of dedication she has to this job.